As gas prices surge, more Americans are cycling as a way to save money, stay fit, or both. In 2010, Boston installed 20 miles of bike lanes and New York City added more than 50 miles. The bar graph shows the number of bicycle-friendly U.S. communities as designated by the League of American Bicyclists for selected years from 2003 through 2011. Use the function to determine the year in which 826 U.S. communities will be bicycle friendly. So we're going to substitute in for f of x the value that was given to us in order to solve for x, which would be the number of years after 2003. So we'll have 826 equals 1.7 times x squared plus 6x plus 26. Now we can subtract 826 from both sides of the equation to give us a quadratic equation set equal to 0. 0 equals 1.7x squared plus 6x and 26 minus 826 is minus 800. Next we notice that we have a decimal expression here. We can multiply everything by 10 to give us 0 equals 17x squared plus 60x minus 8,000. Now, we might be able to factor this, but if nothing comes to mind readily, then what we would do is resort to the quadratic formula, where A value is 17, our B value is 60, and our C value is negative 8,000. Let's now solve for X using that. We'll have X equals, we'll have negative B, which will be negative 60, plus or minus the square root of, we'll have our B squared, and 60 squared is 3,600, minus 4, times our a value of 17 times our c value of negative 8,000. And that is being divided by 2 times our a value of 17. Let's now simplify a little bit. We're going to have x equals negative 60 plus or minus the square root of, and we can multiply 4 times 17 times a negative 8,000 and then subtract that result from 3600 to give us our value of 547,600 divided by 2 times 17, which is 34. Now, it turns out that this is a perfect square, and that value is going to be 740. Now let's just look at this for a minute. If we take negative 60 minus 740, that's going to be a negative value when divided by a positive value would remain negative. But remember, what we're looking for would be a positive value only because we're looking for something in the future. That means that we can go ahead and just look at the value which is a positive 740 in this equation. So we're going to have negative 60 plus 740 divided by 34. We can evaluate this to come up with our result, which equals 20. And so now let's look back at what this means in context. We were trying to find the number of years after 2003 where we would end up with 826 bicycle-friendly communities. If we go 20 years after 2003, that means we're looking at the year 2023 as our result.